Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. Today, we're gonna be looking at a gaming chair or really maybe just a racing chair. You know, the same design has been really popular for like the past few years or so. Easy SMX, a company on Amazon, decided to send us out a chair for review. Huge shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for sending out this review unit. This is not a sponsored video, but they did supply the chair for review. And I was really surprised at the quality of the chair for the price point, because I think this chair, the full price of it is maybe like 170 or 180 bucks. And for that amount of money, because of the kind of market that the gaming chairs are kind of going, you know, you can see them easily three, four, five hundred dollars for a gaming chair. And you would think that a chair half the price would not be as good, but I was pleasantly surprised at how comfortable this thing is. And this thing is definitely my main chair. Now that I've been sitting in it for the past two weeks, I can definitely tell you that my posture has improved. I'm not really having nearly as many back issues from like sitting so long and editing all these videos and stuff. And it has been a much pleasant experience to do the same things that I normally do at my desk. Now I just feel a lot more comfortable. I have a lot more energy and it's just so much easier for me to do it now because I no longer have to have the stresses of my back hurting after sitting in a crappy chair for a really long time so yeah guys this is it this is the chair from easy smx i will have this chair linked in the description below if you guys want to take a look at this exact ones i will have some other chairs of theirs linked in the description below so you can kind of see the different options that they have i think this one i picked it because it supports up to like i think 300 or 350 pounds like i said you'll be able to check it in the description but i am 220 so I needed something that was going to be, you know, comfortable enough, obviously wide enough because I'm not the skinniest person out there, but wide enough but comfortable at the same time with a little bit of bolstering and support, especially at the lower back and at the headrest. And this chair is actually really comfortable. Like, look at how plush the headrest is on this chair. Now, granted, it's not adjustable, but it's not really that big of a deal because of how tall I am. My head just kind of naturally lays on this depending on you know like whatever my posture is set to these bolsters on the side are also a little plush as well it does get a little bit stiff toward the bottom racing inspired so of course you know pretty similar to what you would see in like a race car or something like that but it's pretty nice they give you this lumbar support pillow right here sometimes i'll move it up and you can see you can move it up and it doesn't move so that when you sit back on it it is going to give your lower back maybe mid lower back a little bit more support and keep you as comfortable as possible the bottom cushion of course is super plush as well i was surprised at like how plush this one was i'll show you an example of another chair too um, just so you can kind of see at like some different price ranges what the kind of quality is that you can expect now the armrests they do swivel so you can change the direction you can raise and lower your armrests and uh, they do work pretty well I keep mine normally at the lowest setting because the lowest setting you can see is pretty close to the height of my desk. So I tend to find that to be the most comfortable for me. And that's normally what I will leave this configuration at. Now you can recline this chair as well too. To recline it, all you do is pull on this latch right here and then you can recline this chair back pretty freaking far you can almost lay down it's pretty ridiculous but you know no matter what way you like to game or chill or if you're just laying back watching some videos as i do on occasion this is kind of nice because you can have it to be super upright ready and more of a competitive setting or you can have it lean way back in a more relaxed style of course just like any other office chair ever it is height adjustable so if you're taller or shorter you can adjust the height of this chair to be either higher or lower off the ground and it's got wheels on it so you can move it around it does work really well if your floor is carpeted so i have no issues moving this chair around you know just grab and go just pull and go no real resistance so that's pretty nice and on top of this if it's hardwood floors or you know tile or whatever it will also work very well but it's nice to know that these wheels do work well on carpet so here we have the chair from easy smx and then here we have another chair from secret lab just keep in mind that this easy smx chair is about 170 ish dollars this secret lab chair i think i want to say is about 350 ish around that price range so the chair from easy smx you got a pretty comfortable headrest pretty plush as well you can see like how far the pillow goes in terms of plushness so that's really nice zero labs you do get a really nice pillow as well for your head support so really good okay you do get lumbar support that you can move with the easy chair then with the secret Labs chair 
you don't get any lumbar support, which, you know, some people may or may not care about, but it does make the chair more comfortable for more people. I will say that this one is just as adjustable as the Secret Labs chair. So you can move these armrests forward and back, swivel them, lean the chair back. Same thing you can do with the Secret Labs chair. Still move them up and down, forward and back, swivel, all that stuff. Actually, the Secret Labs, can you swivel them? Um, you can't actually. So. Wow, okay. And then the bottom cushion, this really got me because the bottom cushion is really important. This is where you're gonna spend all of your time. So this has a really nice cushion that does seem like it's gonna last a really long time. The Secret Labs chair, on the other hand, there really isn't any cushion. Like, it just feels like there's fabric, a tiny, small, thin cushion, and then I kind of feel some of the plastic underneath. So that's kind of unfortunate that there isn't really much support with this chair, whereas this one, probably half the price, you get a ton of support, just as much adjustability. And I think that personally, this one looks a little bit more premium too. Like you do have like a leatherette kind of material. You've got really good build quality, especially for the price range. Where on this one, maybe similar build quality, but the material quality, as you can see, with this one being just a few months old, the fabric is kind of starting to fray a little bit and it just doesn't look as nice as when you first got it. When I do think that this one probably is gonna age as well, since it is like a leather type material, but since it's not made out of something like fabric, I think this chair is gonna age better than this chair. So that is just kind of my overview on the Easy SMX chair. I'm really impressed with how this chair performs and how it feels and just using it over the past couple of weeks, how big of an improvement this is over what I was previously using. And even in comparison to something more expensive, how well it stacks up. So I do think that this is a really good winner in terms of value. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, I will leave it linked in the description below so that you guys can look and see if they have something that will fit your body type as well as be comfortable enough for whatever you're trying to uh, use it for, whatever setting. I think this makes a really good home office chair, a good chair for a gaming setup, a really good option for the price range. If you know that you want to buy a gaming chair, but you don't want to break the bank and spend a ton of money. But that's going to be it for the video today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to too much tech and turn on those post notifications so that you guys are notified every time that we upload a new video. Huge shout out once again to Easy SMX for sending out the chair for review. Again, not a sponsored video, but they did send out the review unit, so appreciate that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section or hop in my Discord and ask me any questions there, and uh, I can answer anything further if you're curious. But I'm, um, once again, really surprised at the quality of this chair, and yeah, I would personally buy another one for another setup when the time comes. And I'm probably going to more than likely because I'm really impressed. Once again, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I will catch you guys in the next video.